Bitcoin futures. Bitcoin futures did not reverse this week. Here was the breakdown line. If the market was going to recover quickly, it would have closed back above this level this week. And it hasn't done so. It's remained below this level and traded in consolidation mode. Yes, there's been some buying support emerge, but the volume suggests it wasn't strong buying support and there was no intent to carry the market higher. Price remains just above this level, which is the old secondary breakdown line. This is the old all-time highs of the range. This is the highs of that range. This is the secondary breakdown line. The market did attempt to consolidate at this level before it did break down further and the actual consolidation took place around this level. That's the centre line of the consolidation previously and perhaps accumulation. So now you've got the highs of the range up here. The market's broken down below where the market was finding support previously. Last week it broke down. This week, the market is trading in consolidation mode, attempting to recover from the ordeal of breaking down. It's sitting right on top of this level here. There is support expected down through there. So if the market needs to dip lower, there's further support down to that level. A clear break below 50,000 would be a serious negative and probably see the market down around these levels. But at this point, the market broke down last week. It's trading in consolidation mode this week. It's less likely now to immediately attempt to recover. And if it does so, I expect it will encounter some supply being drawn out from the left here. So at this point, the most likely response is for the market to trade roughly sideways down here on top of this level, the old secondary breakdown line and just consolidate for a while and recover from the breakdown below 60,000 before there's any really serious attempt to move back above that level. If the market did attempt to break above that level too early, you probably find it'll be rejected unless there's real serious buying support in the market.